Hey man, y'all know I use. I usually don't go on the internet. I usually don't even speak my opinion or none of that shit on the internet or speak my opinion to too much anybody. You gotta have a real conversation with me to know how I feel about something or some shit. You never gonna hear it on the internet. But I made this video, man, cause this is something I feel like I should really talk about cause I care. When it comes to the streets or you in the streets, stop trying to find justice in the streets cause it ain't no justice in the streets. You never gonna find justice in the streets. You gotta create your own street justice, whatever you feel that is. And I'm saying that cause the shit that go on in the streets been going on for since the beginning of the time. Niggas go down the streets. Niggas gonna go to jail. Niggas gonna betray you. Niggas gonna, you know what I'm saying, triple cross you in the streets. That type of shit gonna happen. You go, it's gonna happen all the time. Nigga gonna rat in the streets. That shit been happening since the beginning of time. So when it do happen, you can't feel special or unique about the situation. Like, why a nigga rat on me? or how? You got to look, hold yourself accountable sometimes in these situations. What the fuck did I do wrong to get back door? What the fuck did I do wrong to get ratted on? What did my homie do wrong? Or how did he not trace his steps? You feel what I'm saying? When it come to those situations, when niggas go to jail, when nobody pick them up, nobody there to really be beneficial to you while you going through your darkest times. Nobody not supposed to. That's why they your darkest times. You feel me? The people who love you and in your corner going to do what they do, but that's only so much. It's only so far that they could get you because it's you that's going through the situation. It's you that's in the streets. It's you, it's you, it's your life. You're going to have to do all the uncomfortable shit to change your situation. The same way every other nigga did. Every nigga that's got some money that's a millionaire went through the most uncomfortable shit to make themselves a millionaire. They had to make all the sacrifices. Every nigga that left the streets, including myself on both of these ends, when it comes to money, the streets, all this shit, I went through some of my darkest times to change my situation. I didn't complain. I didn't go tell nobody, man, it's fucked up. I got this going on, bro. Damn, damn, damn. No. I sat in the corner. I put my head down, and I got to where I wanted to go in life. I accomplished my goals by understanding I'm not the only person that's going through or went through this shit. I didn't take it personal. So I looked at myself and held myself accountable for every single fucking thing that went on in my life. And that's what I need to tell. I want to tell everybody else that's in this shit. If you're in the streets, I don't give a fuck what your situation is. Nigga, you ain't the only one going through this shit. You ain't the only one that went through it. And you ain't the one that's going through it in the worst way. It's always somebody that's going through exactly what you went through 10 times over, 10 times harder. So I just want to say, don't take this shit personal, man. All my niggas stay strong, man. And God damn it. Do the most uncomfortable things to change your situation, man. Sacrifice. Go without. You got to do that kind of shit to change your situation, bro. And don't take it personal because you're not the only person that had to do it. And believe. You feel me? Like, this shit ain't that hard, man. You got to just understand it's a game you playing. Once you understand this shit a game and this shit ain't no coincidence that this life shit is a real live game. Like chess. Like every fucking game that you had to actually get to the finish line to get where you're going. Once you look at life like that, you could do any fucking thing, bro. And I just wanted to take the time to say that I really wouldn't ever say no shit like this on, in my life, especially not on the internet. But I'm saying this to the people who going to actually listen and that care enough to listen to me and actually believe in what I'm saying and believe in yourself. Because this shit ain't no coincidence. This shit ain't no game, man. And I don't know. I just wanted to say that to the niggas who... I feel gonna listen.